In today's tutorial, I will show you how we can create a simple blood pressure log using upper numbers. So here I am in the blank document. There is already one table in, so we're going to use that as our main table. Let's click on that table so we can rename it. Keep in mind, on the right side, in the format section, we can adjust the style of this text. We can change the font and even a text color. I will need six columns here. Right now I got seven, so I'll just drag this, push it like back in to have six columns. That's correct. We can select a team from the table section on the right, and here it is. Now we can simply add headers in this red row at the top. All right, if you want to change this color, you can select all of those headers, head to cell, and we can adjust this fill color here. I can make it a bit darker, a bit easier to read. I will also go to text section and make this text larger as well to 12 points. Okay, so here's our basic table. Keep in mind, we can move this table a bit. Now I'm going to create a like secondary table showing us like the correct blood pressure range. So we can kind of analyze our results and see straight away that this is kind of in the normal range or it's elevated. So let's add another table. Like this. I just need three columns and maybe something of five rows. I want to place this table on the right here so we can kind of see both tables together. The second table, I don't need a title for that, so switch this off. And again, we can use similar styling. So I go with the red first, but as you may remember, we modify the color already. So let's do the same thing here, selecting cells and changing the color to a bit darker. Now it's time to type in headers. All right, seems like I can get rid of one row at the bottom. So again, grab those two lines. This is the way how we can quickly modify the size of the table. And now I will put some values in. All right, with those values in, we got this quick reminder, whatever we're putting there. New entry in our log, we can quickly double check that it's optimal, normal, or high straight away without going out from this spreadsheet. So, I think this would be a really helpful little table for us. We can also change color of the text so we can have an optimal at the very top. I will use the blue text for that. Then normal, that would be green text. And finally, I we will use maybe some kind of orange here. All right. So we got the secondary table for checking our results straight away. With this setup, we can start putting our results. Keep in mind, I will share this template with you. So if you like this setup, you can head to the link from the description and download this template for free. In addition, we can populate it with some sample data and then generate a chart. So let me show you how we can do that. All right, I put some sample data in and what we need to do next is to select our data first before we insert the chart. So I will select not only that, I will select a bit extra below. So in the future when I add a new entries, it will also be covered in that chart. All right, so I will select all I got here. All right, and I click chart and I will go with the bar chart. As you can see, it's kind of dominated by the time measurement. 
that's not really super important for us in the chart so we can quickly remove that from our series here i will click edit data reference and this way i can get rid of the time color so we don't need time we will have just date systolic diastolic and pulse that's exactly what we need and as you can see our chart looks way better i already mentioned that i giving this extra free space here on the right so it can cover all of the days in this table so that's that's what the free space is for right that's not a mistake here we need this free space so we can see data from more days we can modify color of your chart so you can load some pre-made color palettes if you prefer you can pick from the top they already prepare some shades of blue violet or you can modify them manually by clicking on the bar and then heading to style and from here you can modify the color for this kind of chart i also recommend to go to series a 10 on trending line this way we can notice that the values are going up or down and in our case you know, for all three values are going down so this trending line calculate all of the values in and try to predict the trend in our case the trend is downtrend so that's going to be important medical data keep in mind you can modify those basic values based on your age gender and medical history as well as I mentioned, I will share this template, so the link is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.